Before we begin, we want to review and determine if a graph of the function is linear. So looking at this example, we can graph this by just plugging in points for x and y. So if I plug in 0 for x, I get negative 1 for y. If I plug in y for x, I get 2 for y. If I plug in 2 for x, I get 5 for y. So if I graph this, I get 0, negative 1, and 1, positive 2, and positive 2, positive 5. And if I draw a line, I do get a straight line. So yes, that's linear. If I graph the next one, I make an xy table. If I plug 0 in for x, I get 7 for y. If I plug in negative 1, I get 6. If I plug in negative 2, I get 5. If I graph these, I have 0, 7, and negative 1, 6, and negative 2, 5. And if I graph that, I do get a straight line. So yes, they are both linear. Next thing we want to talk about are um, some vocabulary words. So nonlinear functions are um, functions whose line is not a, uh, whose graph is not a line. So the graph is not a line. And that could look like different things. Um, it might look like a curve. Um, it might look like that. Those are nonlinear functions. Um, a quadratic function is, is a nonlinear function. So a quadratic function are the ones that we drew up above. right? They're the curvy ones. They have an x squared in them or maybe an x cubed or higher. They are not a quadratic. And a parabola. Those are the ones that look like a U. They either open up or down. Now we want to sketch the function that passes through the points in the table and determine if it is linear or not linear. So um, I'm going to count by twos to graph these because my graph is so small. So an x is 2, y is 4. And when x is 4, y is 8. 4, 6, 8, and when y is 6, 2, 4, 6, or x is 6, y is 12, 8, 10, 12. And that's as far as I can go. So if I graph this, you will see that it does form a straight line. So yes, it is linear. You need to copy this in your notes. It says you can identify nonlinear functions from equations and tables. So if you're looking at an equation, the equation says if a function's greatest exponent is 1 and not a variable, it is a function. So that means it has to be x to the first, or maybe y. If it's x squared, it's not a function. Um, if it's y to the x, it's not a function. If it is um, a to the seventh, it's not a function. Any of these are not functions. It has to be something to the first power, and um, it cannot be a variable. Now, looking at a table, if the ratios between the changes in variables in a table are the same, it is a function. And we talked about that before. So when you look at the ratios of x to y, if they are all equal, it is a function. So make sure that you have those copied down. Okay, let's look at these two examples. We want to determine if they are or not a function. So if we look, we remember from an equation, the highest uh, variable has to have an exponent of 1. So if I look, this is my va highest variable, and it has to have an exponent of 1, which it does. And there can be no exponents that are variables. So if I look, this is 17 to the first. That's OK. And this is negative 4 to the x. That x is a variable, which means this is not a function. Looking at the next example, I have y 
that is raised to the first power, so that's okay. And I look through here, and I have x, that's raised to the first power, so that's okay. So yes, this one is a linear function. Okay, now we need to, to determine if the function described is linear or nonlinear. It says a single cell divides to form two cells after one minute. All cells formed after this also divide into every minute. A function relates time and minutes to the total number of cells. So we can make a table of, of the values, and we can say that we have the time and the number of cells. So we have, after one minute, we have a single cell that divides in two, so that's two. Then in two minutes, The, it says all cells formed after this also divide into every minute. So after two minutes, these two cells will divide in half and we'll have four. And then after three minutes, these cells will divide in half and we'll have eight. And after four minutes, we'll have 16, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if we look at the comparison, Remember, we want to compare how it's changing from the x values. So from 1 to 2 is 1, 2 to 3 is 1, 3 to 4 is 1, and 4 to 5 is 1. 2 to 4 is 2, 4 to 8 is 4, 8 to 16 is 8, and 16 to 32 is 16. So my ratios are 1 to 2, 1 to 4, 1 to 8, and you can already see now that this isn't going to work, 1 to 16. None of these are equal, so no, this is not a linear function.